Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Stubble and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your puppy's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Stubble is going to come home with his very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow up training session. Now he is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And I want you to keep an eye on where Rich holds his left hand on the leash. For you guys that are gonna be walking with him, this is important. You're gonna slide your hand down the leash. Don't give him too much slack. And we're gonna demonstrate healing, which is proper leash walking and the command is stubble heel. Now at this point, Stubble has a job to do, and that is to maintain pace with you, walking nicely at your left, not tripping you up, not darting back and forth in front of you, but walking nicely like a gentleman next to your left leg. And when you stop your feet, he's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So this makes walking your dog a pleasure, and as the weather gets nicer and you kids want to get out with him, you can take him for nice walks, wear him out, get exercise for him, and not have a dog that's all over the place. Nice automatic sit, and the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate is the sit-stay. The sit-stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one-word firm command to stay. You're going to be able to lengthen out this and you practice right in your house. You have a big home. You can practice all over the house. You don't have to go outside. When Rich returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him, ending all the way back around to where they started and Stubble remains seated until he gets his next command. So this is your healing your automatic sits are great when you stop to cross traffic or talk to a friend on the street. We have a little blanket out here for our little guys so they're not cold. Rich leaves him in another sit stay. And this time instead of returning back to him, Rich is going to lighten his tone of voice and he's going to do the come on command. He should come right in and he should sit facing your knees. And you hear Rich praising him. And he's looking up at Rich so you have good eye contact. And he's doing a great job. So he's come a long way to that little hamster that you gave us. He's grown mentally, emotionally, and physically. Rich leaves him in another sit-stay. And he calls him in. Stubble comes right in and sits beautifully. And then Stubble goes back to heel and back sitting. That is a good job. I'm even impressed with that. Now the next exercises that we're going to be demonstrating for you are stubbles down commands. These are a little bit harder. So first of all, you always have your dog seated before you attempt to put him into a down. Rich is probably going to use a treat for this one. He gives him left open palm straight down toward the ground. The one word command to down and stay. Now he didn't give him the treat till after he was laying down. So he wasn't being bribed to lay down. He laid down on his own. He got a treat for doing a good job. You're gonna lengthen out the time and the distance on that command as well because everything is about focus, self-control, listening, maturity, and they all play a part 
in raising a happy, healthy, stable dog. It's so easy with these little guys to spoil them rotten and then you have a brat for the rest of your life. Rich is gonna put him into another down. down. He's gonna leave him in a stay. Stay. And then he's gonna call him out of that. Good job. <laughs> Good boy. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the hardest of the group, and that is the down from a distance. Remember, before you have your dog lay down, always have him seated first. You're going to leave him in a sit-stay. When you're going to give the down from a distance, don't go too far away in the beginning. You're going to be able to get further and further away, but when you first start out, stay close. Perfect. That was gorgeous. <laughs> He's looking for a street. Good job. So we have demonstrated for you all of Stubble's formal on-leash obedience commands. He has done a great job. He is a very, very smart puppy. I think that he's going to be a wonderful family member. We've certainly enjoyed every minute of having him here with us at school. We know you've missed him, and thank you for giving us the extra time. And thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.